All right. Today, I'm going to be going over NIP's A execute on Nuke. In theory, you can run this with as little as $5,600 on the entire team, but obviously you can scale it up if you've got more to spend. Starting with Rez, because I think he has the most independent role in this strat. He's going to need a Molotov, a Smoke, and an HE, whatever else he wants to afford. He's going to run into Lobby through this door, and on his way in, blow up Squeaky. And he's just going to hold this for a little bit. Make sure that nobody's pushing in quick off the back of that grenade. Jig a little, a little bit. Throw in a little jump. Bait out any shot from an op that might be in mini. Because as the execute call comes in, he's going to post right around here. Throw the smoke into mini. And then throw this Molotov into Asian. Then he'll either entry out squeaky. Or, if Counter Utility has come in and landed in front of this door, he'll backpedal through Lobby and meet up with Linus and Plopsky to go out hut. Next up on the list, we got Plopsky. Plopsky needs to buy two flashbangs, at least some base level armor, and whatever pistol he feels comfortable entering with. This can be scaled up to a rifle or any other gun, if this is more of a full buy round. He's going to run up, climb this ladder to get up onto the T-roof, once he does, he's going to walk over these pipes, look about right there. There was flashes up next to that marshmallow. He's going to go down the ladder. Post in hut just like this to make sure nobody's aggressive. Then, once the execute call comes in, he's going to entry out hut. Crossing to the front of sight. Pre-aiming Asian for anybody who might be flushed out by the Molotov. Anybody playing by Tetris. Anybody top hut, and then push forward to clear anybody who might still be lurking around these corners in vent. Once this side of the site is clear, then he can turn around and start to deal with anybody who still might be by Camaro, Mustang, the back rafters, or pushing out from heaven. Next on the list, we've got Linus. Linus is going to buy pretty much the exact same stuff. Two flashbangs, at least base level armor, and whatever pistol he wants to answer with. Again, can be scaled up based on how much money you're trying to put into the ramp. He's going to run out of T-spawn, climb the ladder to get up onto T-roof. He's going to walk up to this ladder, drop his two flashes right there. And then meet up with the boys in lobby, holding about right here to make sure nobody's aggressing from ramp. Then when the execute call comes in, he's going to follow Plopsky out, crossing to the front of the site, Clearing the same angles, and then turning around once that side of sight is clear. Now we've got Device. Device only needs a Molotov and two flashbangs. Everything else is additional. As he runs out of T-spawn, he's going to break those two windows, climb the ladder, get up on the T-roof. He's going to run over here, where Plopsky threw his flashes. Post up on the side of this marshmallow thing, and aim right here. Once the execute calls comes in, he'll jump through this Molotov, which will land back sight, as well as his now four flashes, the two that he's purchased and the two Plopsky lent him, as fast as he can in succession in the exact same place, so that they land behind Silo like this. Don't blind anyone running out hut, but do catch anybody playing rafters, in really any position. Then, once he's thrown all that util, he'll come down the ladder, join the guys out hut, and go ahead and start clearing backside or heaven, because this side of sight should have already been cleared by the three prior mentioned. Last but not least, we've got Hampus. Hampus needs to buy that same Molotov, two flashes, and a smoke, and whatever else he wants to play into the round with. As he runs out of T-spawn, he's going to break those two windows, climb the ladder up onto T-roof, run along this edge, find this dot right here, and then watch for anybody who might be aggressing Yard. Then, once the call comes in to execute, he's going to find the right edge of this bucket down to the shadow and jump through that smoke. That's going to land through that skylight, smoke off heaven. Then. 
He's going to backpedal down the edge of the roof, find just about any section in this thicker blue line, run forward, and jump throw his Molotov. That's going to Molotov hut. And then he's going to run back up to this ladder, find any section on the right part of the skylight, down to the rivets in the thick blue line. And he's going to jump jump throw his four flashes, the two that he purchased, and the two that Linus dropped for him. Those will land behind the yellow beam so as to not flash anybody running out hut, but catch anybody who may be pushing out from, or flushed out from Asian, anybody who might be pushing out through the mini smoke, anybody who may be playing close vent, as well as half blinding anybody still up on rafters. From there, Hampus has two options. Either he can go ahead and hit kind of a late flank off silo and catch people who may be in mini waiting out this smoke. Or he can go ahead and drop into lobby and play an angle like this to catch off anybody who may be aggressing from ramp and trying to set up in lobby for retake. That about covers everything you need to know to run NIP's A execute on Nuke. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.